once I had my credits sorted out, I realized, like, okay, I don't really need... Like, by the end of the game, I had, like, 300-something thousand credits with nothing to spend on because I didn't really need... I didn't need anything. And so then when I didn't need anything, I was like, well, what are these systems in the game for? So, like, okay, I could... I could now go focus on... I could buy the best ship or whatever, right? But for what? So I can have a big ship? What's the ship for? So I can get into more dog fights and I would be able to f- take them on easier? Okay, what does that get me? Nothing? More credits? Sure. Um, I can also now afford to upgrade my ship. What does that get me? A better ship. For what? I can explore farther, faster. I can, again, dogfight better. For what? Credits. What do I need the credits for? Nothing. Um, now I can explore faster. So now what? I can go to more planets. What are on the planets? Really nothing. Um, but if I do decide to land on them, what do I get? More credits, more exploration, more items. Um, I can build an outpost now. I can afford all the knickknacks. I can afford to buy all the things and get more resources. What do the resources get me? Credits. Uh, what do I can sell them for credits? What can I, uh, I can, I can, uh, yeah, everything kind of just leads back to a loop of like, but what for credits? What do I need the credits for? Nothing. Um, it, it's, it's like all these systems in the game. Yeah. There's a lot of choice, but there's no purpose behind them in my opinion, other than, oh, I get to play the game more. So it's like, oh, I can, I can build an outpost What's the outpost do? It gets lets me have more time playing Starfield. Now I can build a wall. Now I can afford... I get these other resources, these copper wires and these co- cobalts and this and the, these, this and that. I can build a hallway. Now I can build a room. Now I can put an NPC in that room. Now I can build a turret. Now I can build a, a line that sucks resources from this thing and puts it into that container. What's all this for, though? What is that for? It just gets me more gameplay. Like it just, it, there's no purpose behind it. And after once I realized that, I was like, well, what's the re? Like, why would I want to do that? It's just like, I don't know. It's it's weird. I, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. It just not for me. The, all these systems and all these extraneous things that you can do ultimately, in a way, I, I'm like, I'm thankful they're not forced on you. But in a way, a part of me was like. I kind of wish that the game did take forever. Like, let's say you started out as a miner and you got tasked with having to go, you know, maybe something crazy happened to you. And it's like, in order to get the answers needed, you have to travel to another planet. You have to get off your planet, but you're a poor miner. And then it's like, well, you can't get off the planet unless you have a ship. And it's like, but what if a ship to you was an unattainable goal? What it's like, What if it's like, okay, well, that's never going to happen. Now you got to save up money. It's like, well... I got to do the best I can. Maybe I I take on some bounties, save up some cash. That's going to take forever. But what if I built an outpost and started gathering resources? I could use those resources to funnel and siphon more credits. And it would almost be a natural way of forcing you to use these systems. Now, I get that wouldn't be for everybody because not everybody wants to do those things. And so I get the catch-22 of like, well, you can't please everybody kind of thing. But then ultimately, I'm like, well, then why even have the systems at all? If they're not for everybody and they're not really for anything, they're kind of pointless. I would rather have a linear game, a more linear game that just focuses on delivering like a really cool storyline. Because I would have liked what I just described. Like, okay, now you got to save all these credits and you finally get your ship and it's taking you hours and hours and it's a big moment. It's like, okay, crazy. You finally lift off. You get into space. You have this wide open universe and you can go to the planet you explore. It's just, I don't know. And, and, and it's like, maybe, maybe after you get all that stuff, a spa- you get into a space battle and destroys your ship and you crash land on the planet that you were headed to. So you can continue the story, but now you're like, okay, now my ship sucks. I got to learn how to like upgrade my, my ship and fix it and blah, 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 make it better. So that if I ever encounter, you know, dog fighting again i can handle myself like i don't know I, I feel like there could be an interesting way to naturally build the systems into the game but i guess also a lot of people would hate that as well because they don't want to be forced into those things but i just wish there was i guess what i'm saying is i wish there was a purpose behind these systems it's like offering the game of life and being like okay you can do whatever you want you can be a you can be a 
a grocery store clerk where you scan items all day and you get some money. Or you can be a truck driver and drive a parcel from here to there. And it's like, well, why? Why do I want to do that? It's like, well, because once you do that, you get money. And it's like, yeah, but I already have all the money. Like, why, would I, why do I want to keep delivering parcels? Why do I want to keep scanning items and bagging people's groceries? Well, you get money. It's like, well, that's not a purpose. That's not a reason for me to want to do those things. So I didn't really feel any sense of reward or purpose behind most of the game's offerings. The, the side these side things. The one I explored the most, like I said, was surveying the planets. And I did really get into it and I enjoyed my time. It was very peaceful. It was more of a passive game experience, kind of like when I drive around in Forza, just kind of trying to like destroy signs. I just turn a podcast on for hours and I just walk around surveying planets, jumping around from post to post, finding, you know, 100%ing it. It was very... Um, very relaxing and I did get a lot of credits from doing that and I did gain a lot of experience points from doing that as well um I just wish that there was more again a little bit more of a purpose I I, in in, I spent a lot of time I don't have my stats here but I did I did discover a lot of planets and I did a lot of surveying and I gotta say after doing all of that there was not really a single moment that I remember there was not a single like I didn't and I'm I didn't I didn't do a thorough search I know there's tons of planets out there but of the ones I found not a single side quest happened not a single unique experience I never found I never felt like I oh I'm the only one experiencing this or oh I'm I'm really finding a hidden gem here and, and that was kind of just... Hey, thanks for listening to this clip of my podcast. I publish new episodes on the last Friday of every month at 12.45 p.m. PST for all premium members of my Patreon. My name is Cooper Bebo. I'm an actor, writer, and producer of film, television, and video games. Head to patreon.com slash cooperbebo. You can sign up for free, get access to my blog, or you can toss me a few dollars if you want to support me and get special bonuses like this very podcast, or you can subscribe to my YouTube. You'll continue to get free clips and a brand new video every single Wednesday. So whether you like to watch, listen, or read, I've got something for everyone. I've also got a video game called Billy Saves the World. Please check that out on Steam right now. I've got movie projects in the works. I update all of that stuff in Discord all of the time. Again, the basic channels are free to join. Just head to patreon.com slash cooperbebo to get access. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next clip.